Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Do you know that in the word of God, God has a blueprint for our lives, how and what we can develop ourselves to be um, by his word and by his spirit. So God has a blueprint for us. He has these pictures and images um, in the Bible and especially in the New Testament for his people, the church, and um, what he desires the church um, needs to be. Um, a blueprint is a pattern, is something, a document that we can study and uh, something that we can do to, uh, it, will, it will actually help us to determine what we need to become. And it also gives us information on what should be placed where and how things should be built and so on. So it's, it's, it's quite an important um, uh, piece of document, uh, a blueprint. So God's blueprint is God's design for His people. Uh, and into what they can develop themselves to be or what they should aspire to be. And God gives us the resources to change, to become, uh, maybe in terms of characteristics and features and uh, areas to focus, to develop and so on. So it's very interesting to study that and we're going to be looking at that. So one of the things that we see is that God calls His people as His temple. In other words, we are the temple of God. We see this in 1 Corinthians 3, verses 16 to 17. Um, Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him, for the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. So here are some uh, uh, you know, applications or here, here are some, um, some thoughts here because we are the temple of God. Uh, we are the temple of God, the place where God dwells. So we need to be aware of this every day and every moment. Just imagine the God of heaven and earth, the God who created, the God who transforms, He dwells in the people of God. He dwells in us. He de- dwells in you and I. Secondly, we see that we are a habitation of God, that, uh, that God's presence fills the temple. So we are a habitation of God collectively and individually. So we, every day, every morning when we wake up, every night when we go to bed, we, we do so with this awareness that we are a habitation of God. Uh, thirdly, we see that the temple of God is holy and God is very serious that the temple of God should not be defiled. So the temple of God is holy, uh, which means it's consecrated. And uh, so the application for us is that we can walk in holiness, in thought, word and deed. We need to walk in holiness, in thought, word and deed because the temple of God is holy. And also, um, Another way this, this applies is that we cannot defile the temple of God, which means we have a responsibility for not defiling uh, uh, another believer. So the temple of God is holy. He or she that we meet um, you know, is carrying the presence of God, is the habitation of God. And uh, we have a responsibility not to defile the temple of God. So, uh, in 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 19, we see the same thought being expressed. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? So, God's desire is that as His temple, we will manifest or show forth His glory. And uh, God desires to show forth His glory in us, And he wants to do that through us. And God's glory, we know, is manifested through signs and wonders and miracles and holiness and transformed lives. So here's something that we can walk in, that as New Testament believers, we have the glory of God. As New New Testament believers, as new creations, God dwells in us. We are the dwelling place of God. So we need to walk in this reality every day. So today, Walk in this reality, embrace this truth and walk in the reality as 
the temple of God. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you that you choose to dwell in us. The eternal God, the omnipotent God, the all-knowing God chooses to dwell in man. Father, we thank you that you choose to make us your habitation. And Lord, we pray that every day that we will, Lord, whether we are at work or when we are at, wherever we are, Lord, that we will walk with this understanding that we are indeed the temple of God. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.